Hello. This this is something that I won't be doing many of. Um, many being a bit un might not be exaggerating that much, really. Um, every time one comes out, perhaps. Um, yeah, Transformers last night. Just cause everyone else is doing it and why the hell not? So, um, the main thing of it is, if you think the other films are getting better, then you'll at least like this one. Um, if you critique it, it seems you won't. If you're wanting a Transformers film with plot that keeps keeps it all the way through and you know keeps the plot interesting you probably won't find you probably won't like it because yeah the plot's there but it's it's not really memorable put it put it that way it's not I mean it, it is a bit daft but it's it's not over the top stupid like like it um like probably the yeah, like the second one. Sorry, it is quite early. Um, he, yeah, it's not not a bad film at all. I I quite liked it, but then again, I thought the one before and the fourth one weren't too bad either. But that's just me. Um, weird thing is, there's more human stuff in this one than there was in the last one. But unlike um, the first three films, where it was mainly all human stuff. It at least served a purpose most of the time. There were a few bits where it didn't serve a purpose, but for the most part, having humans in the film, it it helped move things along. Um, it also f didn't feel, feel at any point that anything was just getting boring too much. It just felt like stuff was... Um, moving forward which which is kind of what you want really from film you want things to progress and it does um yeah there are still a ton of things that you'll you, you might you might not like them um, some of the jokey bits i felt didn't work but that was just me um mate who uh, i saw it with he thought some a lot of the jokes were pretty funny but you know that would you know, it's personal preference. Oh, hay fever. I apologize. Um, um, yeah, tr I w won't go into spo detail, spoilers, whatever you want to call them, in this video. Um, unless your name's Megatron, don't just don't care about the end of the Decepticons. Just don't care about them. Um, Autobots, if you're a Dinobot, just don't care about them. <laughs> That's basically the thing of this film. Um, or, if your name's Crosshairs, or Drift, because they seem to be get pushed to the back, considering they've had their five minutes of fame in the fourth film. Um... The acting wasn't bad, for what it was, obviously, I mean, it did what it needed to do, um, Wahlberg does what he does, um, Anthony Hopkins tried to be a nice, nice old weird man, um, it worked, I suppose, um, yeah, if you want to see this with your kids, and you thought, you're thinking too many 12 films have got too much swearing in um, you won't like this one because there are kids swearing all over the place in this one um, if you don't think that's a problem fine but if if you are worried about your kids you, you know copying what the kids are doing here you know and what they say yeah that's that's going to be a little bit of a problem for you um, Um, what else? Without giving too much away. 
Um, Megatron was good. Megatron was good. I would have liked to have seen more of him. Uh, voiced by Frank Weltner, the original Megatron. I would have loved to see more of him because he was awesome. Um, what else? Um, there is a combiner. Um, pretty. You see him technically twice. Um, right near the very beginning and right near the end. Um, doesn't really do much, but it's just our Megatron commands him for that brief time that he tells tells the combiner to combine and do stuff. I thought that was nice. Uh, yeah, hey, hey, fevers. Anyway, um, b -b 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 um, yeah, there's a few characters in the film which there's no toy explanation of. Um, main one off the top of my head is uh, the trader. Uh, which basically looks like a miniature version of Hound, just with a giant backpack and no guns. And I don't know how it transforms. Um, also, Dreadbot. He, I think he turns into a rusty old Volks VW camper van. I think. I'm not entirely sure. Um, no toy of him. I thought there would be. But hey-ho. Um, no toy miniature Dinobots as well, which is odd considering what they. I'd have thought. I'd have thought it'd be this film's version of Minions. Um, but don't worry, they're not in it constantly. They're only in it for little bits, and it's weird because the Triceratops one, Slag, Slug, whatever you want to call him, he gets bigger, or I assume he gets bigger because there's a normal size one and there's a tiny one. Can they grow bigger? Can they get smaller? I don't know. Um, yeah, the Dinobots are just... They're just there for a little bit. They don't... They're just there. Um, they never transform, which... Af after the um, first two series of Transformers, that's pretty much what they did in the 80s cartoon as well, so... It's not really anything new on that scale. Um... How Megatron is defeated um, kind of does a little bit of an homage to the um, 80s, 80s film um, with Galvatron, sort of, but I won't say any more. Um, um, Uh, yeah, one more thing I think I'll say before shutting up because I'll say too much otherwise. Um, yeah, two more things actually. Um, there are some appearances by other actors, character or characters, or the playing different characters um, from actors that have been in the other Transformers films. I shan't say who, but you'll know. Um, yeah, one other thing. Uh, Hot Rod's guns. Um, if you've ever watched Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, um, the third part, which is um, Stardust Crusaders, where they get um, spirit people called Stans to help the characters out. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, oh. Excuse me. Um, yeah. They get spirit character, spirit people to help them out, or spirit weapons, or whatever. And there's one called Dio who controls this one called the World, which stops time for a couple of seconds, like five, ten seconds, that sort of thing. And there's another one in the fourth arc, which is Diamond is Unbreakable, um, called um, I can't remember what his name is, but he's got one called Killer Queen, which um, when he touches things. He puts his thumb like that to blow him up, you know, like a trigger. And it feels like a mix of both where he shoots the guns and it creates like this bubble. Or I assume that's what happens because you never really see him shoot, shoot his guns. It's just, I just assume he does. Unless it's some stasis bomb or something. 
where it creates this giant bubble and everything and things um, slowly explode around it I mean really it slowly explodes you don't see a massive bay explosion a bay explosion if you will um, I just thought it I just thought it was a mix of that to be honest um, yeah the Decepticons not really indistinguishable they've gone back to being silvery um, Autobots still have got a better colour palette you can can't, you can tell which one's which at least that's the thing um, no that's pretty much it um, if you're expecting a good plot no um, if you're expecting a Transformers film like the 80s film or a lot like the cartoons um, no Unless you count R.I.D. 2001, which, maybe. Um, or the first episode of Series 3 of Tr and the first one or two episodes of Series 1 of Transformers Prime, maybe. Um, I thought it was pretty good, um, but that's just me. So, I hope this has helped you decide if you want to see it. Goodbye, for now.